Welcome to Central Global News, your weekly summary of the most important issues and current affairs worldwide. People have reportedly been shot dead and wounded in Nigerian protests against police brutality in Lagos on Tuesday. At least 10 people died in the attacks, according to Amnesty International. Protests began two weeks ago with the people demanding the police unit code Special Anti-Robbery Squad to be disbanded. The special squad that had been accused of assaults and violence has since been closed down, but the crowds are still asking for reforms on security forces and the running of the country. Nigerian authorities claim that the reports of fatal injuries were false, and the country's president, Muhammadu Buhari, has not yet condemned the violence in Lagos. Meanwhile, the feminist coalition, a key group in organizing the protests, has urged the people to stay at home and not break the curfews. In their statement, the group said that young Nigerians should stay safe and stay alive to pursue our dreams to build a future, as they put it. Protests have broken out in Poland as well, after the country's top court has ruled that all abortions are unconstitutional, except in the case of rape, incest, or if the life of the mother is at risk. The country's abortion rules were already among the strictest in Europe, but Catholic groups have been asking the government and the ruling Nationalist Law and Justice Party to tighten the law. From now on, the abortion of malformed fetuses is held as incompatible with the Polish constitution. After the court's decision on Thursday, protests have started in several cities throughout the country. In Warsaw, members of the riot police used pepper spray and physical force to keep participants back after they started throwing stones and pushing the cordons. Pope Francis has called for civil union laws for same-sex couples. In a new documentary, the head of the Catholic Church expressed his clearest support for gay people so far, stating that same-sex couples should be legally covered and part of the family. These statements represent a shift from the official Catholic doctrine and the church attitude towards the LGBTQ community. However, the Pope still remains somewhat conservative in the sense that he only talks about civil union laws and does not indicate any intention to extend marriage to same-sex couples as well. That's it for this week. Thank you for listening.